Lito, Berlin, where I have several from Exodus with me. Uh, the band doesn't need any uh, introductions, but uh, how is the band doing at the moment? That's good. We're in a very strong point right now. Uh, even though Gary's not with us, Gary's finishing final tour with Slayer. Gary will be back and we'll be writing and putting out a new record. Exodus is going to keep on going. Okay, uh, you already have uh, some music out of place here. You can tell us a little bit about the music on place. And then you are featured in the compilation together at their home. Well, that's all news to me. I know we haven't put out anything new, but we did do a tour with Municipal Waste in uh, February, March. It was for a cartoon in the United States on Adult Swim called Mr. Pickles. Yeah. So we did uh, we did that tour. It was uh, not too long, maybe three and a half weeks. But that's about all we've done really this year. Yeah, actually, that's the uh, that was released. Really oh, it was. Oh, I see. Okay. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, because our you know guitar player, main songwriter, is finishing the Slayer tour, we're probably going to have to wait until that's all done. So I would say. 2019 late, you know, because they're booked through next year to finish. So we're gonna wait until that's all done. So just to be honest, I'm not saying we won't play or we won't tour. We just uh, we won't be um, putting out any movie. I've heard it. There's new songs. There is. Gary has played me some new songs that he's put down at a home studio. It's really killer. It's just the time constraints with Slayer touring and Exodus touring and being home all at the same time and being able to get together to put it all together, then I, I, I think that, um, to be honest, it'll it'll be um, late 2019. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, anything about what kind of music you be here? What kind of music have you heard for the last 35 years, right? Yeah. Absolutely heavy. Uh, <laughs> brutally, violently crazily in your face, you know, like normal Exodus stuff. There's going to be no uh, slowing down here, I'm sure. Okay, that's good to hear. Actually, uh, Blood In, Blood Out was uh, the first album after your second comeback to the band. How was it to come back again to, you know, uh, It's kind of like, um, you know, I've been playing in this band since I was 22 years old. I'm 54 now, so I know how to do Exodus, you know, it wasn't like I had to learn how to get back into the groove of it all. I knew automatically what to do. It's just, you know, it's kind of second nature, you know, like riding a bicycle or anything like that, you know? Okay, and uh, how did it all pan out? How did you end up uh, coming back again? I was asked to audition to... to see if I was interested in coming back and sing these two songs and we'll listen to these two songs and tell you what we think. So, obviously they liked them. Oh, sure. And, uh, you know, uh, there's been a lot of uh, lineup changes in Exodus, I've seen many metal bands, but what for you is the essence that always remains? I think the essence is just the, the true spirit of it all, the true spirit of what we're doing. I mean, I don't think that Exodus even when I wasn't singing with them or there's been, you know, Rick Kittle was the original guitar player. He's not there anymore. I still think that the um, energy and the yeah, rawness yeah. Oh, and the ferocity is there. Tom Hunting's still there. Yeah. So it's still Exodus. Okay, and uh, you started your European tour uh, two weeks ago. So About a week ago, yeah. A week ago week tonight ago. in Paris, actually. So we're, yeah. we're now... Will be a full week of playing here, yeah, yeah. So, how has it been? Well, we finally got the songs down, I think. Uh, <laughs> it's great, it's been great everywhere. The fans are very receptive for us over here. We always had a good following when we play in Europe, anywhere. It seems like, you know, Europe is definitely Exodus country, Exodus territories in a lot of places. We're doing 11 shows in Germany alone, so yeah. that, that goes to show that the metal here is very strong. We're really proud of that. We're great. proud that we can come over 
after so many years, you know, it's been 33 years since Bottom by Blood was released. And we still have, you know, the old fans that come and the new ones as well. So we're very fortunate. We don't take it for granted. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, after countless of live shows, you know. Uh, countless? Yeah. So uh, what do live performances uh, mean to you nowadays? Live performances are everything. I mean, there was a time back in the day where we thought uh, a good show was how much booze, how much drugs, and how many girls were at the show. You know, that was a good show. And it was performance. Oh yeah, I think we were good. Were we good? Yeah, yeah, I think we were good. You know, but now it's all about the performance. Where you know we're older guys, we don't care, but we care that we're good live. So when the new fans are coming to pay, to buy the T-shirts and pay to come to the shows, we actually give them a show that they're worth seeing. You know, I'll do that every night. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, uh, you already said that it's all about the performance. Definitely. Yeah, so definitely. Uh, no, this is a big one. The guy for you. Yeah. I'm telling you that we perform well. As long as we perform well and we have a good time. And if the crowd is having a good time. Because that's the bottom line is that the crowd is the ones that are there to see you perform. And if they leave that show having a good time, then you know you did your job correctly that day. Everybody gets to go home happy, you know, and I think that that's the main important. You can tell when you watch a band and they're on stage and they're not having fun. You can just tell them they're just going through the motions. When you watch Exodus, you can tell we're up there having fun. It's fun. I could do, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, no, really. well, look, for the easy person, the band's uh, journey has already been over 30 years long. So, uh, for you, personally, what have been the most memorable moments? I mean, just being able to be what I am, you know, I mean, when I was a kid that was 13 or 14 years old, back in the 70s, uh, I was always looking on, laying on my bed, listening to the albums, looking at the cover, or looking at a live cover of an album, and a band in there in front of God going, God, that's what I want to do, man, I want to be so bad, I know I can do it, I've been doing it for a long time. So for me, that's everything. So in spoke a bit about trash metal itself, uh, how do you see the state of the genre at the moment? Or, uh, uh, there, the, it's like any of the other genres of it, like black metal, like death metal, like uh, uh, dark metal, any of that type of stuff. I, I think thrash, all of that music is, is a derivative of thrash, and thrash is the nucleus. And I think those of us that do it, you know, meaning everybody from Metallica on down, you know, has actually put out good records and are still doing it at a, at a high level. And I, I think that, you know, if you go back through over, especially since bands started to come back, because I feel that we were the first ones to come back. We came back in 2002 with Temple of the Damned, and so far, not too many thrash bands that had went away we're actually doing records yet, and, and I think that since then, I haven't heard any one of the probably top 10 or 12 thrash bands, even more than that, put out a, a, a really rotten record. Everybody's putting out quality stuff. And it seems like in, in a career of a musician, it's usually the later stuff that people don't like, you know? And for us, it, it, it's quite different. They love Bonded by Blood, obviously, and the earliest stuff. They love the old school, but we're still putting out quality new songs, so I think that goes hand in hand. Yeah, and uh, how do you see the future of Trash Metal? Is there uh, some new bands coming up that you like, or where is the genre going? At? Yeah, there's a great band from uh, Dallas, Texas called Power Trip, and that's bands to look for to come up. There's these bands with these two retarded kids in it called Adriot. They're pretty good, too. And uh, there's... Uh, there's um, Havoc, there's great bands like even like Black Dahlia, they're not necessarily a thrash band, but they, you know, they come in, so there's all good new bands. Metal will never go away. Metal will always be here. As long as there's people, as long as there's angst, as long as there's rebellion, there'll always be heavy metal. Okay, and that's like uh, a thrash metal have a special meaning to you, or do you listen to other types of metal? Of course, yeah. of course. I listen to everything. I listen to lots of other hard rock and heavy metal as well. Again, I'm 54 years old, so I came from the 70s when it was Alice Cooper and Ted Nugent, Led Zeppelin, that was some heavy music. Black Sabbath was like the heaviest band on earth at one time, you know, so of course I listen 
to all that stuff, but I listen to other new bands too. You know, I like Slipknot, I always have, you know. A lot of other metal heads don't just, it's kind of their new metal, don't care for that. I like it, I like Slipknot. So, there's stuff like that. I mean, one day I'll listen to Quiet Riot, one day I'll listen to King Diamond, you know, so I'm all over the map, but I listen to Heavy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like you already said, you are one week down on your European tour. And, uh, so, what are your expectations for the rest of the tour and well, Berlin tonight? Complete domination, complete thrash domination through the world. I expect fires being lit in that. Uh, yeah, you finished already your uh, American leg of the tour, and now you are in Europe. Uh, Leg? That's good, because if you were to talk about legs, we have about 18 of them on this tour cycle. Uh, again, because bon Blood and Blood Out came out in 2014, we're still doing that. So we happened to do uh, an American tour earlier. We were doing one. Um, I'm not quite sure if we're doing one in later in the end, and we're here in Europe. Like, I think this is the third or fourth summer in the row that we've been over here touring. So... It just seems like summertime, let's go to Europe, you know, so. Yeah, it's better than the winter. Yes. All right, I believe, and we've been here in the winter, so we know. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank and, you uh, so much. Break one of those legs tonight. I'm going to break one of the 18. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you so much. Yep.